to Learning with Lola and today I will be reading The Everywhere Bear, written by Julia Donaldson, illustrated by Rebecca Cobb. With her blue pointy shoes and her hair in a bun, Mrs. McAllister teaches class one. That's Ollie and Holly and Josie and Jay, Leo and Theo and April and May, Billy and Lily and little Lee Woo, Daisy and Maisie and Matt, who is new. Hanzala, Callum and Claire, Kevin and Bev, and the Everywhere Bear. The Everywhere Bear has a home on a shelf, but he doesn't spend very much time by himself. For each boy and girl get in the class is a friend, and he goes home with one of them every weekend. On Mondays, they carry him back to class one and tell all the others the things that he's done. He has bus rides with April and horse rides with May. He eats burgers with Billy and jelly with Jay. With, with Lee Woos, he's a pirate and with Kevin a king and Callum and Claire push him high on, a, on the swing. He bounces with Bev and does handstands with Holly. He plays, he likes playing football with Maisie and Ollie. He always makes stands when he goes home with Daisy and Lily and Lily's. They let him be, him be lovely and lazy. With Leo and Theo, he tinkles a tune. With Hanzala, he goes to the moon. With Josie, he whizzes about in a chair. No wonder they call him the everywhere bear. One rainy Monday, the new boy called Matt was splashing to school when he spotted a cat. And when he bent over to give it a cuddle, the everywhere bear tumbled into a puddle. Just round the corner, a driver called Pete sat in a van painting stripes on the street. Matt got to school and sat down on his chair. He opened his bag and the bear wasn't there. Nobody knew that the poor little fellow, just like the street, had been painted bright yellow. Nobody knew, saw so when a river of rain washed him and wished him head first down a drain. Ooh. And no one was there when the bear with the stripe, dirty and dizzy, splashed out of the pipe. The water was wild and the weather was wet. When Jim, Jeff and Jonathan hauled in their net, waves, rocks and boats and a storm filled the air, none of them noticed the everywhere bear. Back in the harbour, Muhammad Hussan lifted the fish of the boat with his crane. Give me two boxes, said old Mrs. Bishop, and she cheerfully wheeled them away to her fish shop. She started unpacking them, muttered, that's odd, there's a bear wrapped in seaweed between these two cod. Out of the fish shop and into a skip, into a lorry and off to the tip. Ah, squawked a seagull called Salmon shriek, I smell fish, and he picked up the bear in his beak. They flew over treetops and over the town, and the bear saw his school when he dared to look down. Then Salmon perched on the roof of a shop, this isn't fish, and he let the bear drop. Then a very kind lady called Bethany Bear picked the bear up on her way into work. Each Friday morning, class one pays a visit to one of their favourite places. Where is it? The library. Jay finds a book about stars. Josie finds one about buses and cars. Billy likes aliens and Lily likes lizards. Hanzala is keener on wizards. Finally, 
everyone's chosen a book. They queue at the counter. When Matt cries out, look, April and May and the others say, where? Behind you, he's there, it's the everywhere bear. Then they carry him happily home to class one, saying, where have you been, bear? And what have you done? The bear never talks, but he smiles to himself and thinks as he settles back down to his shelf. I've been in a puddle, I've been down a drain, I've been in a boat and I've been in a crane. I've been in a shop and I've been on a skip. I've been in a lorry, I've been on a tip, I've been in a beak, and I've been in the air. No wonder they call me the everywhere bear. That is the end of the everywhere bear. I hope you enjoyed the book and come back and visit me for my 